A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Another 445 people tested positive for COVID-19 in the Hudson Valley Catskills on Tuesday. The state health department reports two more people died from the virus, one each in Orange and Ulster County. Since the pandemic broke out, a total of 55,805 New Yorkers have died from the disease, according to the CDC. In Orange County, 88 new positive cases were discovered, bringing to 52,950 cases. In Sullivan County, 21 new positives were found, with 7,501 total positives since the pandemic broke out. The retired director of law enforcement for the State Department of Environmental Conservation has announced his candidacy for Orange County Sheriff on the Democratic line. Sheriff Carl Bois will retire at the end of next year after holding the post longer than any other sheriff in the county. Two fellow Republicans have previously announced their candidacy. Under Sheriff Ken Jones and former Sheriff's Captain and now Deputy Montgomery Village Chief Paul Arteta, now Democrat Bernie Rivers has entered the race after a 40-year career in law enforcement. They do have the home field advantage, both coming from the sheriff's office. However, based on my work experience with my 30 years with the Department of Environmental and Conservation Police and 10 years with New York State Department of Correctional Services prior to going to the DEC, I believe I have the qualifications for both the correctional facility part of the sheriff's department and the road patrol. With the election a year away, Rivers plans to introduce himself to the residents of Orange County and explain why he believes he's the best candidate for the top law enforcement post. The city of Kingston is making strides to bolster their local arts community, unveiling the Kingston Arts and Cultural Master Plan last night. The multifaceted plan was a joint effort between local residents, the Kingston Arts and Cultural Affairs Office, and Lord Cultural Resources. It outlines a multitude of ways to grow the arts and culture in the economy, as well as how to keep it aligned with the municipal goals for the future. The final plan was formalized following a process, including a needs assessment for the city, public outreach, and data and economic input analysis. Kingston has the largest arts and cultural share of the city's economy at 6.5%. That's larger than both Troy and Poughkeepsie officials say. Additionally, $35 million of -of out-of-town visitor revenue comes from the sector, and the city's cultural assets garner $3.3 million in annual tax revenue. Mayor Stephen Noble says this has led to arts and culture being a major employer for the city. We now recognize that over 1,600 jobs um, here in the Kingston community are Uh, based around arts and culture. Uh, More than $57 million in annual wages are based um, around those jobs. The mayor said, though, that the economic impact is not the primary significance of the arts and cultural community. Director of Kingston Arts and Cultural Affairs, Adriel Farr, says arts and culture are the building blocks of community in Kingston. More news right after this. Galleria at Crystal Run is hosting an in-person Get Hired Job Fair event Wednesday, September 15th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Center Court. Local employers can interview, screen, and hire workers. Employers from a variety of industries will be in attendance looking for candidates at all skill levels. Legoland New York, Resorts World Catskills, and Heritage Financial Credit Union, along with JCPenney, Claire's, Macy's, Zales, and many other mall businesses. It's free to attend for all job seekers, bring resumes, and dress for your success. Interested in participating in the Get Hired Job Fair event Wednesday? Stay September 15th. Contact the Galleria at Crystal Run or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Staff shortages at Vassar Brothers Medical Center have drawn the attention of State Assemblyman Jonathan Jacobson. The lawmaker joined with hospital nurses and technicians on Wednesday afternoon near the Poughkeepsie Hospital to warn the public of what they believe to be the dangers created by the shortage. This facility must always remember that without staff, this building does not provide health care. And without enough staff, this building does not provide quality health care. It is time for Vassar Brothers Medical Center and New Vance, its parent company, to put patients ahead of profits and end the staffing shortages now. Jacobson has been putting pressure on New Vance leaders to rectify the issues since earlier this year. 
Two men, ages 29 and 21, were wounded and taken to the hospital when gunfire rang out shortly after 11 yesterday morning in Newburgh. City police had the area on William Street blocked off with yellow crime scene tape as the investigation was underway. A police source said an attempted robbery had gone bad, resulting in bullets flying. Suspects in a Tuesday morning gas station robbery were apprehended by Newburgh City Police. According to Chief Anthony Gerasi, the incident began just before 1 a.m. in the town of Newburgh. Gerasi says a Gulf station on Route 9W in the town had been robbed, and town police radioed a description of the suspects and their motorcycles to surrounding police departments. City police officers increased their presence on the north end of the city and witnessed a motorcycle matching the description committing several traffic infractions near South Street. City cops attempted to stop the biker, but he fled north on Grand Street at a high rate of speed. The rider crashed near 1 North Street. The 31-year-old rider, identified as Rajani Johnson, was injured and transported to the hospital. Officers located a Glock semi-automatic 9mm handgun loaded with 16 bullets at the crime scene. The investigation is ongoing and criminal charges are forthcoming, police say. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.